Well, welcome guys, and welcome to another entry from the vault. So today we have Spyro the Dragon. So this was released for the PlayStation 1 in 1998, developed by Insomniac and published by SCE. This was the major breakout hit from Insomniac Games. It's a platformer and technically a collectathon. You'll guide Spyro and his dragonfly partner Sparks through many levels and several hub worlds. The overall goal is to rescue imprisoned dragons along, along the way while also was rescuing captured dragon ace from thieves and also collecting treasure. If you manage to collect every single thing in this game, you can access a bono bonus level to get 110% completion. This game also had remakes in the form of the Spyro Reignited trilogy. In the world of dragons, the five realms had lived in harmony for many years. A powerful Nork, a half-gnome, half-orc named Nasty Nork, had been banished to an abandoned junkyard due to his abrasive behavior. One day, he witnesses an interview on TV where the dragons were make dismissive and mocking commentary on Nasty. Enraged, he casts a magic spell that transforms all the dragons into statues. He also steals all their eggs and all of their treasure as well. However, a young dragon named Spyro was spared from the spell's effects, and it now falls on his shoulders to rescue his brethren and save the dragon realms. Alright, let's just start a new game. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, oh dear. Ugly! That does it! Now look what you've gone and done. Looks like I've got some things to do. Also, Spyro in this game was voiced by Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Carlos, uh, I can't, I can never pronounce his last name. But in later ga entries, Spyro would be voiced by, uh, Tom Kenny. SpongeBob. Rescued Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so you find these statues and you just step on them to free the dragon inside. Alright. Actually, do I want to change? I think we want to have it on the active. Yeah, that'll be better. <laughs> Goodbye, dude. So, enemies you kill drop treasure, at least the first time you kill them. There's an extra life. So Spyro can jump, he can glide, he can charge, and he can also breathe fire. But um, yeah, Spyro the Dragon was actually one of my very first um, PlayStation 1 games, alongside Ape Escape 1. So I've got a lot of nostalgia for this game. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you! Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean! Yeah, so Sparks, our, part our dragonfly partner, is our health meter. Right, so let's just jump on all of these. That opens a secret passage. We'll do that in a little bit. 
Yeah, as long as you have Sparks out, he'll help collect treasure for you. The more you take damage, the different colors Sparks will change. He goes from yellow to blue to green, and then uh, after that he disappears. And then Spyro, if Spyro takes one more hit, then he's dead and loses life. Just go around collecting treasure and rescuing dragons. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Yeah, you can also step on these pads here after you've rescued a dragon, if you want to replay the dragon or if you want to save your game. And then these things, uh, if you torch them or ram into them, these small animals, sparks can eat the butterflies left behind to recover health. Uh, let's go this way first. Okay, no secrets here. That guy was a balloonist. Um, he'll take you to the next world uh, after you finish certain conditions, whether it be collecting treasure, rescuing dragons, or finding dragon eggs. I think in this instance it's just rescuing dragons, though. Hey, Spyro! Press the jump button twice to glide, and, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? <laughs> That. Yeah, no big deal. And some treasure over here. And nothing over here. Gotcha. Anything else? Down here at least? Doesn't seem like it. This is a magic whirlwind, so it'll take us up. I totally screwed that up. Ca camera, please, thank you. Okay, so that means that we've collected all of the treasure from this hub world. Very good. Now this world over here that we opened up, or this stage level, whatever, this is actually a bonus level that doesn't play like the others. This one's called Sunny Flight. We can go ahead and do it real quick. There's one flight stage per hub world. Boy, I don't remember how to do this. So yeah, the goal is to destroy all the objects along the way. I totally missed them there. Even though I'm doing this terribly, I think we might make it. Maybe. Th 
this is definitely not optimal at all. <laughs> We did it. Got it all in one. Which is the overall goal of these. Hooray! But yeah, that was not optimal at all, but hey, at least we did it in one go. So enemies do come back once you leave. They stop dro dropping these weird orbs. If you completely fill them around Spyro's head, then uh, you'll get an extra life. Alright, let's do the first real level, Stone Hill. So I think there's a locked chest down here. Yep, but there's also a dragon. Gavin. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Alright, so we'll have to come back down here once we have find the key. Uh, let's go this way first. Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Of course not. Alright, so these are metal treasure chests. Flame's not gonna work on them, so we gotta ram them. Same goes when enemies start wearing metal armor. There's a chest I missed there. Now these guys, it's better to flame them. If you try to ram them, they'll just whack you with their stick. Typically. Let's see. There's treasure here. Nice try. Killed us. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid flight. Thanks, dude. All right, well, let's go. All right, so we're up on this hill now. There's not a whole lot we can do. You can't you, you can't go past this boundary here because there's an invisible wall. Now over there is it one of the, is the game's first egg thief. Got 
gotcha. Cool. Got our first dragon egg. The treasure's kind of sparsely placed around here. So you just kind of have, you kind of have to keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, like there's a single treasure right there. Kind of weird. There's another one. making sure there was no treasure behind me. Alright, that looks like it's it for treasure up here. Astor. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. A thingamajigger? Oh boy. Oh, a little extra life. Alright, so that's all the treasure in this little building. Here is a secret. Alright, there's the treasure key. Now we can unlock the treasure chest down this well. Get the last of the treasure. Yeah. All right, so that's Stone Hill completed. So we can leave. Let's go to Town Square. Chickens! Out of my way, chickens. Mills. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Ooh, that's a load of bull there. Slide on over here. And there's another extra life. Devlin. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Yes, sir.
<laughs> you stuck there, dude. It's very silly. see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. <laughs> Calm yourself down there, old man. We'll, we'll get it back. I'm gonna have to do a trick jump here. Chick jump and glide, really. Nah, 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 nah. Oh. Oh, well. That was just very silly on my part. Gotcha. Well, that worked out. Didn't have to chase him for long. This thing is a spinner. Just flame it a few times and it'll break open. Alright, and that's all the treasure accounted for. Four. Thank you for releasing me. Uh, you're welcome. Alright, another level completed. Can we already face the boss if we wanted to? Is it open? No. Okay. Alright, so let's do Dark Hollow. Alright, so these dudes are carrying metal shields, which means that we have to ram into them, rather than torch them. Right, so here's the locked chest of this level. Ah, now this is a big dude. They're too big to ram, so you have to flame them. Album. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Now, there can also be big dudes that are wearing metal armor. Now, with them, you gotta get a little creative. Like this guy here. He's got metal armor on the front, but he's completely vulnerable in the back. All 
Okay, Oswin. Psst, Spyro. Want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> I don't really use the first person view thingy much in this. It has uses sometimes. But they get out of the water. Almost missed that chair there. Well, we got the key, so now we can unlock that treasure chest. to that other ledge as well. Gotcha! Wait, I didn't miss a treasure, did I? Darius. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. Okay. Very good. I suppose we can do the boss level real quick. Probably won't take long. Wait, it's still not open? Cool Flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the Dragon Mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Oh, is it not doing it because I didn't... It's doing it because I didn't... Technically, hold on a minute. Okay, there we go. Uh, so what happened is it didn't like that I was just uh, exiting the level instead of using the exit portal. Alright, confronting Toasty. Oh right, these dogs. They're a pain to deal with. There is a trick to them, though. Oh, 
torch him, then jump out of the way, then torch him again. Can also do that. Okay, that works pretty damn good. But yeah, I definitely don't recommend charging these guys. Not gonna work out very well. I've unfortunately lost sparks, which means that we're one hit away from death. It also means that we don't have an easy way to collect treasure now as well. Uh, and there's no small animals nearby. Right, Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Many tricks, huh? I'm sure we can deal with it. Gotcha. Got a two for there. <laughs> so it was just a sheep trying to look scary this whole time. All right, let's get him. All right, goodbye, Toasty. Toasty got toasted. Okay, so that is the artisan world complete, uh, fully completed. Marco the Balloonist. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. So yeah, he only lets you use the balloon if you've rescued enough dragons. But the other balloon keeper, balloonists have other s stipulations, like collecting enough treasure or rescuing dragon eggs and stuff. Okay, and then that brings us to a brand new hub world with more levels to do. And I think that this will be a good place to stop, because I'd say that's a pretty good showcase of the game. So yeah, it was one of my first PS1 games, and I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Spyro 2 and 3 are definitely, they're samey, but they're also different at the same time. You'll see what I mean when we get to them. But yeah, I'm going to stop here. Uh, yeah, Spyro is a pretty cool game series.